Hey out there everyone on YouTube, this is Chris. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. As you can see, we have a new blade by Kershaw here in the shop, in the shop not the sharp. Wonderful. Uh, I'm not even going to bother editing that one out. I'm going to give you guys a really good laugh. As you can see, it's in their Black Wash series. And you know what? Stay tuned. Hopefully the title won't leak out. Okay, guys, as you saw by that title, we're taking a look at the Kershaw Leak. And, you know, the big old fancy title is the 1660 GRY BW. Now, inside that itty-bitty little box you just saw, let's get this thing backed off. It's got something cool from Kershaw. You know, important info about your new little blade. You know, they break everything down for you in the simplest little levels. How to basically open it, you know, with a nail, with the flipper. You know, with the little thumb screw and even the thumb studs. How to close it. Uh, you know, the different kind of locks. And even how to wear it in your pocket. I mean, talk about breaking things down as simple as possible. But anywho, enough of that paperwork stuff. This is what you want to see. That's right. This is Kershaw's Leak. Now, it is a Ken Onion design, and let's get into all these wonderful little specs for you. Hey, there we go. A little, little bit closer. Now, it has an, as I said, it is designed by legendary designer Ken Onion. It's got an overall length of 7 inches. The blade is 3 inches. Enclosed, it's 4 inches. The weight is 3 ounces. Now, what I like on this one, the steel is Sandovic 14C28N, or CZ8N. Whichever one, I mean, my handwriting's horrible. It's got a black oxide, black, wa black wash finish. The handle is 410 stainless steel with a gray finish. Now, this is what I found really, really interesting. This little guy right here. It's a safety. Hopefully you can see that. When it's engaged, that blade's not going to open. It does have a reversible pocket clip, so you can do it either tip down or tip up. It does have their speed safe open technology. It does have the flipper and it also has the little thumb studs. Now I'm going to tell you from playing around with this, you really want to use the flipper because with the thumb studs, it doesn't have as much success as the flipper. Don't know why. That's my experience with mine. It does have a very low profile pocket clip when it's sitting in your pocket. It's not going to really stick out and be like, hey, look, hey, look, there's a little blade right there. But you know what? Enough of this little stuff. This is what you guys really want to see. There's the blade. It is a modified drop point. Now, what made me question this blade, even though you can see very little bit right here, that itty bitty little curve, it looks an awful lot like a neck knife you're going to see in this series. The SPEW by CRKT. But I'll let you make up your own mind. that zooms in there now the cost on this guy I found it on Amazon anywhere between 42 and 87 dollars because there's multiple versions of this but the closest I could find to this one was 42 bucks on Kershaw's website it was 99.99 I got this at our local Walmart for 49 dollars and 79 cents so it's basically right in the middle for shopping locally it's got a rating on Amazon of four and a half stars out of five. And on Kershaw's page, it's got five out of five stars. Now, as you can see, it has the little liner lock right there. And it has a little bit of jimping right here. Now, here's what I was talking about earlier. When you're using the little thumb, you know, the little flipper, it opens pretty smoothly. When you're doing the studs, it only seems to go right there. I've had a couple instances where my finger was going forward and I've caught myself on the blade. But, you know, it's not a bad little blade. It's remarkably lightweight and it comes pretty razor sharp right out of the box. I kind of like this one. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. Leave your questions down below. And if this is one of your first time viewing our videos, thank you for spending a moment of your day with us. 
I know we do things a little bit differently here, but hopefully you like what you see. Please remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe because we can only grow by you guys doing that. Now, somewhere, as usual, I'm betting it's going to be on this side of the screen this time, you should see a little logo, and that's going to be an easy way for you to click on that and go right to subscribe. Probably over here, as usual, you're going to see a video that YouTube is going to recommend for you of our videos. But that's it for this little blade, guys. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have an incredible day.